to come out here today on a glorious day. I mean, it couldn't be more picture perfect. Uh, on the streets here, the village, of course, is just, it's magical. And to have these cars, uh, I've only been here for a few minutes. I've already seen some cars I'd never seen before. So this is one of the great treasures of the car hobby that sprouted up here. And uh, for you folks that are local, you must be so proud that you can have such a wonderful event here. Uh, it's representing your community. And on the larger scale, car guys, wherever you are, there's no better place in the world to come than Montecito. And to be able to come on this day and enjoy these cars, well, it's pretty special. You need to put it on your bucket list. I, I don't talk about my cars a lot, but most people know that my first car is a 57 Chevy. Uh, and uh, I got that when I was 16. And when I drive it these days, uh, I have other cars and I enjoy all cars. But when I'm in that car, I'm automatically, without even thinking about it, I'm 16 years old all over again. And most of you know what I'm talking about there, car guys. Uh, my newest car is my oldest car. It's a 1901 Duryea. It was actually the oldest car on the lawn at Pebble Beach this year. And I bought that car particularly because my grandfather started McGuire's in 1901. And so this car was made at that very same time. So it celebrates, commemorates really uh, the, the founding of, of, of this company we call McGuire's and all the fun that we've had with it over these many years. And it's, uh, it's a very special little carriage car. And of course it's black <laughs> and shiny and, uh, and I love driving it. My 57 Chevy, I was, uh, you might say, a bit of a hot rider back in the day. And uh, so um, I, uh, I hot rodded the car out. Uh, back in those days, uh, the, the, uh, the trend was to put your car on a rake or you dump the front end. And uh, that's not popular today. Uh, and you don't see any cars like that. But if you look real hard at my 57 Chevy, it's dumped just enough to please my eye. Nobody else really notices it, but when it was sitting flat, uh, I just didn't enjoy it as much, so I just I just adjust the suspension a little bit, just have a little bit of a, a dump on the front end. But, um, you know, it's a 3D6 stroker, and um, it, it makes a lot of noise, sounds ferocious, same uh, interior that I had. So, uh, uh, I mean, it really is exactly the car that I had when I was 16 years old again. So you can appreciate why I enjoy driving it so much because it takes me back to my roots of when I first became a, a bona fide car crazy car guy. <laughs> well, Barry, thank you for joining us this weekend. You make us all happy and proud to be car crazy. Well, you know, uh, this is, again, this is a very special place and you, just the sounds of the engines, the ambient sounds around and all the people, I can't believe all of you that, that even from my area drive up here to be a part of this. It's a, it's a very special place, and I'm greatly honored to be here. I really am. Fantastic.